A blessed evening to everyone. Seneca said, travel and change of place impart new vigor to the mind. Journey, travel, change have uh, characterized the experience of the people of God starting from the call of Abraham to leave his country and go to the land promised by God. And a great part of the Old Testament uh, books, especially the, the first books, record the uh, journey of the people of God towards uh, the promised land. As we have mentioned uh, previously, the readings of the past weeks have been about this journey of the people of God from slavery and their experience in the desert, long journey through the desert, and finally entering the promised land with their new leader, Joshua, after the death of Moses. The first reading today provides us important, important pointers and lessons for our own journey also as a people. I would just like to name one of these. First, Joshua, their new leader, convoked all the tribes of Israel to Shechem. is one of the important places of gathering in Israel. Shechem. And he summoned the leaders, the heads, the judges, and officers of Israel. And they presented themselves before God. It is a solemn gathering or assembly in the presence of God. And we notice that those important moments of their life as a people, as a nation, they decreed the gathering or the convocation or assembly of the people. We notice that in many instances, important moments of their life as a nation, as a people, they would gather as a people. The gathering of the community became an important element in their life as a people. But at the center of such gathering is God. It is not just a social gathering, political gathering, while there may be elements of this, but at the center is always God. This gathering is not just an affirmation of their connection with God, but became the assurance and the sign of God's presence among them. That's why Jesus would later, later on declare that where two or three are gathered in his name, he will be in their midst. Thus the act of gathering becomes the sign of God's presence and this strengthens the bond of its members. We are reminded here of an important lesson as Christians and as humans, as, a, as, a, as human beings, of our need to be related, our need to cultivate connections and relationships. Because it is in the loving relationship that one finds profound joy and meaning of one's life. It is rather ironic that uh, with all the ease provided 
by modern technologies and means, modern means of communications, for example, unfortunately and sadly, there are still people who feel isolated and sad. Our gatherings, also as a family or as a community, are to foster the sense of belongingness and our communion. The desire to grow as a community, as a family, is indeed a very important thing to consider and to pay attention to. I remember what my youngest sister was telling us that one of the wishes of my father is that that we should be gathered frequently as a family. Well, he died in the midst of pandemic that some of us were unable to to pay our last the last respects to him but again you now the uh, parents who see for example the importance of family of gathering you know, because this strengthens our bond as a family as a community for a, it is also, I think, the reason why the Church, the Lord, mandates that we frequent and attend our weekly gathering on Sundays as a community of believers every Sunday, for example, precisely to strengthen our bond with God and with one another. It is in this spirit of community, of union, of communion that makes journey also pleasant, meaningful as a people, as believers. Why such insistence of gathering of uh, the community, of the gathering of a church in faith? What does this gathering, assembly, have to do with, the, with life, with our Christian life? Is it not enough that I will uh, save my soul. I will fix my relationship with God alone. Is that not enough? Why such an insistence of God, the church itself, for our need to be related, to be convoked in an assembly, gathering, as a community. I think we can simplify, we can put it simply because our destiny, the kingdom of God, is not a kingdom of isolated individuals. The kingdom of God is a family, a community. And if we have not learned to love our community here on earth, where will we learn to live and appreciate and love community? And heaven, as I've said, is not a place of isolated individuals. It is a communion, a community, celebrating the joy of our salvation. May we come 
to appreciate our family, our groups, our church, our assemblies, because as we have said, it is here where we are trained already to live for that kingdom which is our end our goal our home amen